Hello everybody, my name is Cole from Aquamania and welcome to yet another video. In this video we will be talking and showing you videos and pictures from the brand new fish breeding room. This is located in the downstairs aquatic section which is also going to be eventually the pet and reptile section. As you can see from some of the clips, the reptile section has already been moved and pets is very soon to come too. On to the first order of business, the fish breeding room, which is what you clicked this video for. Well, the fish breeding room is something we've been working on for absolutely ages. Previously, our fish breeding room consisted of a wall of glass tanks. These glass tanks had sponge filters in, which were powered by an air pump located upstairs, hidden away. Now, the new fish breeding room is actually running off sponge filters as well as more under gravel filters. These two different types of filters will actually help lots of things, including circulation of water and aeration of the tank, as well as keeping it clean. How did we begin building the breeding room? Well, firstly, we removed the old marine system. This originally had a wide variety of tropical saltwater or marine fish in, but then this was changed to a cichlid system before it went completely. This room created was separated using a large wall to allow any heat from the new room, which we would be building, to stay in that room. After the wall was put in place, huge windows were added to the walls to allow visitors to see through them and see all the different fish and aquatic life. Eventually, the full thing was painted, of course not the windows, and two large doors were added. Just before the doors were added though, two large vat systems were taken into the room to allow us to make our custom filtration systems and allow more room for different fish species and fry. These custom filters consist of a large under gravel filter with two uplift tubes on them. After we put the gravel over the tops of these under gravel filters, we added three sponge filters, which we made using cube sponge and making cutouts so we could put even more uplift tubes in them. These uplift tubes are fish safe PVC tubes with a hole in the top for airline and holes around the tube to allow air to be pushed into the sponge and water to be filtered through it. All of these filtration types combined will allow for a huge amount of filtration, aeration, and of course, circulation of water in the tanks. The main job, of course, for these filters is to make sure the water in the tanks stay clean and safe for the fish to live in.
In our current breeding room, the species of fish that we have that are already breeding or bred include crebensis of both regular kinds and albino kinds, guppies of different colours, bristlenose including the red ruby, albino, black and different variants of longfin. In the future, we are also planning to add platys to that list, cichlids of different forms including trimax, cold water fish including arandas, corridorus and many more. Hi there, it's me again. Why not subscribe to the channel and like this video for more content like this? Hope you enjoyed, thank you! watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to stay tuned for more videos coming in the future as well as part two of the fish breeding room video. I hope you enjoyed this again and thank you very much for watching. I'm Cole and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.